Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pasta TV. Today, we're going to be talking about something not depressing or awful, but something really awesome that I found recently. When I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with Pokemon. I'm super old, so when Pokemon Red and Blue first came out, that's when I was in elementary school. And I loved those games. I played them nonstop all the time until I caught all 151 Pokemon. And then they added like 700 more. But recently, I found a little game that I want to show you here called Poke MMO. The other day, I was scrolling through LeoX.com and I saw this tweet. Um, they were commenting on the new iOS emulator and they said you can just play Poke MMO, which has always been available on iOS. Full version of all games gens 1 through 5 in a single online MMO, made incredibly more challenging with a player to player marketplace for buying, selling, trading Pokemon and items. I can't imagine why anyone would play a ROM of an old game when they can play it online with their friends and other people. Walk up to other people and request a battle or trade, open the marketplace and buy Pokemon and items that other players are selling or sell your own, partake in live events with the rest of the community, literally everything we've always wished Nintendo and the Pokemon company would put out. And then they show these screenshots that look really awesome of like a black and white styled Pokemon game with like tons of other players. And I was like, dude, I don't know what this is, but I need to play it. Now, if you guys have watched me for a long time on Twitch, you know that I'm also really big into MMOs like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, any of those games. So when I heard there was an online Pokemon game, I had to check it out. And guys, it is so amazing. So as you can see here, I have my, uh, my, my little dude. I'm running around with my Pokemon. And this game takes all the first five generations of Pokemon and mashes it into one giant open world MMO. And by that, I mean it takes the regions of red and blue, gold and silver, uh, emerald, platinum, and black and white. I think that's what it is. Uh, and, and it puts them all together into this game. So this isn't just a typical Pokemon game. It's an online Pokemon game with thousands of players. And how it works is you create your character, you pick which region you want to start in, so it can be the region from red and blue or the region from gold and silver, which is the one I picked. You get a starter from that region and then you go through the game as normal. When you beat that region, you beat the Elite Four, you can then change to a different region and start the story over again. And you can see everyone else running around here, there's a lot of other players, there's like a global chat which I'm hiding behind my head here, but there is a global chat when you can talk to everyone on the server. There's a market board where you can purchase Pokemon with in-game dollars. This is in-game dollars, not real life money. Uh, you can purchase Pokemon, you can purchase items, and it's just, it makes everything so cool and so easy. They take events from older generations like swarm battles and like alpha Pokemon and things like that and put them into this game. So it, it implements to the old generations. It's been a blast. I've been streaming it for like 12 hours a day on my Twitch channel and I can't stop. And I can show you here when you get into battles, it basically plays out like a normal Pokemon game. The battle pops out into this battle window so you can still see the open world around you, which I think is very cool. Uh, and then you just you just do a normal turn-based battle with your with your Pokemon. They have little uh, little tweaks like it shows if a move is super effective or not very effective before you use it. Uh, the UI is slightly different and it gives every generation the style of the Pokemon black and white games, which I personally think is an improvement. There are a few very important things to note though about Poke MMO here. First of all, this game has been out since 2012. I didn't know this personally, I just learned about it last week, but it's been around for 10 plus years. Um, they have gotten into some legal battles with Nintendo, but they've come out on top and they are still existing today. The way to download this game, you just go to PokeMMO.com and it like tells you step by step how to get it. So it's not very hard and it's available on PC and on mobile, which is pretty awesome. But the main difference between this game and the regular Pokemon games is the difficulty. It's not excruciatingly hard, but this game definitely ramps up the difficulty from the normal Pokemon games, which in my eyes is refreshing because the OG games are pretty easy as an adult. Another thing I was surprised to learn is that this game isn't incredibly popular. When I was a kid, all I wanted was a multiplayer Pokemon game. And as an adult, that's still all I wanted. I wanted a, a good, well-made, well-functioning multiplayer Pokemon game where you can trade and battle with anyone you run into. That's been the dream as a Pokemon fan basically forever. And this game does that. You can add people to your friends list. You can trade or battle just anyone that you see walking around. You just have to walk up to them like this, right click on them, 
request. You can whisper them, you can trade with them, you can link with them, add friend, you can battle them. Anything that you want, it's super easy and it's amazing. One of the things I thought was really cool is that legendaries in this game barely even exist. So as far as my knowledge goes, there will be one of each legendary per server and they'll randomly spawn and someone will out there will find it and catch it and then whoever catches it becomes a target for every other player in the game. So as long as you have that legendary, you can't fly anywhere. You can't fast travel in any way. If you log out, you'll lose the legendary. And as long as you hold it in your party, anyone who challenges you to a battle, you are forced to accept. And if they beat you in the battle, they take the legendary and become the new target. I think that's a really cool way to do it because if everyone in this game could get legendaries, that's all anyone would ever use. They would just have a party of six legendaries and it would be boring. So having that be like the target on your head whenever you have one, perfect, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I've been having so much fun with this game that I just wanted to make this video and talk about it and just kind of gush. I was able to make my perfect dream team. I have I have the turtle team here. I got, I got my boy Ronan, I got Michelangelo here, I got Leonardo, I have Donatello, and I have Torkoal. I, 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 I didn't have time to nickname him. But also, I just have uh, I just have this guy, Dino Nugget, to help me with HMs. But I was able to make my dream turtle team because I love turtles. Um, <laughs> and you can do anything that you want. You can do anything you want in this game. You can just buy them off the auction house, make your dream team. And one cool thing here is when you bring up a Pokemon summary, it's super easy to check. It's EVs here, it's IVs, you can check, like, it's, it's abilities, everything about it, all the info that you have. It's, it's super cool, super easy, really intuitive. I implore anyone who's watching this video, if you, like me, wanted a multiplayer Pokemon game as a kid, go to PokeMMO.com. They're not a sponsor, I just love it. And download the game. It's free, it's super easy, and it's really cool. But yeah, that's all for today. I just wanted to show off this game and gush about what I've been playing on Twitch. It's like a childhood dream to play a game like this. Just an open world MMO with Pokemon. It's all I've ever wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. And if you have wanted that, I'll link it down in the description so you can go to the website and download it yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you next time. Bye.